Welcome back. Here's the second tutorial on writing cell diagrams. So last one was representing the electrochemical cell. Now we're going to look at some more complicated half equations and how to write them as half cells. The examples we're going to come across are this oxygen with hydroxide, this water with the hydroxide and hydrogen, then a manganate uh, one and a vanadium one at the end. So we'll uh, conclude by uh, answering how you use the square brackets and how you use a comma in our half equation with these more complicated ones. And then the next tutorial will be the cell diagram for when E cell is positive. So the first example of a uh, half equation here, I've got uh, oxygen with water plus four electrons going to four hydroxide. And we want to represent this uh, as a uh, in a cell diagram. Obviously, this is only a half equation, so we're just going to get a half cell diagram here. And uh, there's two different ways that might be. It might be that we want the right-hand half cell, or it might be that we want the left-hand half cell. So to work out which way we do it for each of these, we need to identify that the left-hand side is the relatively oxidized side, and then it gains the electrons to become the relatively reduced side on the right-hand side. So if we're going to have a uh, right-hand half cell, then uh, we're going to want ox, then red, and then uh, a platinum catalyst, a platinum electrode, because uh, there is no uh, solid metal, which could be the electrode here. So we want the oxidized species first, which is all of this there without the electrons. And as you can see, that's exactly how it's been written in the cell diagram. Instead of having the equilibrium arrow, we have a comma. And then we have exactly what's written there is put into the cell diagram there. Then finish off uh, with a phase change to the platinum electrode. For the left-hand half cell, then we want to have the reduced species on the left, so that's the four hydroxides. Comma is equivalent to the uh, equilibrium arrow. Then the oxidized species, so once again, uh, just that exact same thing, uh, written as it was in the half equation, but with a square bracket around it. Just going through a few similar examples here to help you get familiar. So a new half equation, oxidized species on the left, reduced on the right. That's how they're written in the electrochemical series, because we always have the electrons on the left. So if we want a right-hand half cell, then it's got to be ox, then red. So this here corresponds exactly to what's written there. And here is going to correspond exactly to what's written there. If we're going to do the left-hand half cell, then we're going to want the re relatively reduced species first, so that's exactly the same as that one, and then the uh, relatively oxidized species afterwards. Uh, although you might be thinking it's terribly complicated to do this manganate one, as soon as we put the square brackets there around each side, we recognize that the equilibrium arrows represented by a comma, then we simply need to put the oxidized, then the reduced, if we're going to do the right-hand half cell, which is the same way round as we've got here, or just simply put them the other way round if we're going to do a left-hand half cell. Again, there's no metal, so we have to have the platinum electrode. And a last example, here are oxidized species, there are reduced species, so oxidized on the left, reduced on the right if it's the right-hand half cell, and the other way around if it's the left-hand half cell. So if we can conclude with a general example, use of the square brackets and the comma. Essentially, the square brackets we'll put around if we've got more than one species on one side of the uh, half equation. We'll use a comma in the place of the equilibrium. So if we wanted to write this as a left-hand electrode, we'd want the reduced side, then the oxidized side, that's the C first, then comma, and then the A and the B other way around if you want to do this as the right-hand electrode. So I'd hope now that you'll be able to pick up uh, any half equation, have a look at the species on each side of the equilibrium, put a square bracket to bundle them together, and then within the half cell, use the comma in the place of the equilibrium. Okay, so uh, finally we'll go on to uh, the cell diagram for which E cell is positive, the spontaneous reaction.